help by the time and uh, it's on uh, Visual Basic, that's all. I'm working in Visual Studio 2010, but uh, it's the same code to, how do you say, VP 2008. So I'm gonna make a new project. Now I'm gonna name that like Notepad. Notepad. Advanced. Yeah. Then, to start off, I'm gonna go Project. Add Windows Form. I'm gonna name that Note.bb and press Enter. My computer is very slow. I can turn the turbo mode on. See if getting better. It's not going to be fun, but yeah. Well, in here, in this, I'm gonna add a stereo strip and a mini strip. No, two strip. I'll press there. Press insert standard items. I'm gonna remove, remove the from the printer all to the right. So I'm just gonna have new. And open, can I edit it? So just a new and uh, save. Yeah, that's the save thing. We'll go to that text and it's and save. And the other, that's and new. I'm gonna choose and clear. I'm gonna add a text box. Press that little arrow, make it a multi line. And go to properties and find dock. You can set the dock to fill. Yeah. Then I'm gonna double click the save button. And here, I'm gonna write. Then save as new save file down. Then if save dot show dialog equals Windows dot forms dot dialog result dot result dot okay. Then <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna go all to the top. Press enter and above public class node and write import system dot io. Yeah, then I go down again. So I'm yeah yeah between if if and and if. Yeah, there, I'm gonna write dim srw as new stream writer. And it says path as string. I'm gonna write save and file name. Yeah, and here I'm gonna write srw dot write. Then I'm gonna write textbox one dot text. Then srw dot close. So that's our save function. That new is going to be if and the gbox do you want to clear this question mark message box file yes no yeah yeah it's comma between them and the title just a question mark I'm gonna say close that uh, quantities or how do you say equals message box result yes then I'm gonna write textbox one dot text equals yeah, like that. I'm gonna write else like a little thing up there and do nothing. So that's our no thing. And no, it isn't. I'm gonna write here status label and text going to be length of text colon. And I'm gonna add one more. And that all to the most to the right. Name, I'm gonna write LE. I'm gonna set it text to zero. I'm gonna add a timer. Enable equals true. I'm gonna double click the timer. I'm gonna write LE dot text equals text plus one dot length. Text length, sorry. Yeah, that's our note. I'm gonna go back here. Make it a little bigger. So I'm in form one now. <laughs> Strange. Yeah. I'm gonna add text. I'm gonna write note pad. I'm gonna turn the turbo mode off. Yeah, now. Whoa, I can see the whole form. Yep. Yeah. I go. What should I do? Yeah. You just press form one and look after is in the i parent. No, it's in the i container. You just say contain for me, but it's container. Make that the true. And you see that this is much darker. I'm gonna add an uh what is it? And uh, come on. 
stereo strip. Uh, and a little strip. No, no new strip. I'm going to type and file. I'm going to type new. Not new. That looks like it. I'm going to type dim note. Note underline new has new note. Yeah, then I'm going to press um, right. note underline new. Then. And the I parent. Come on. Then and the I parent. Equals true. I'm going to turn that turbo mode on. No, not AV key. What the fuck? Yes, turn turbo mode on. Yeah, note underline new dot and the iPad equals me. Then note underline new dot show. <coughs> Go back here, default one. And select write new, open. I'm gonna write name open as new open file that one. Open dot multi select equals true. Then if open dot show dialog equals uh, we need to wrong that dialog result. But okay. Then alright for for each file name in open dot file in open dot not open access. That's the problem. It's just going to say open open dot file name in file names. Then open underline one. Then open underline one. Then not select. Open underline one. That should For each fine name. In. Open that. Open underline one. That fine names. Yeah. No. And then, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make it fast. Go and copy this. Uh, this new code, I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna paste it. What did I do? It was very wrong. That new code. And paste it. But except for that, before note new that show, I'm gonna write note on the new dot text equals file name. Dot no, just file name. And now we can just try it out. You see? Open it up. File. Open. It's gonna find two. So hard. Which I don't have two in the same place, I think. Maybe in here. Where's my desktop? Yeah, I'm gonna select readme and like YouTube HD format. Press open. That open. I'm gonna I'm gonna import system.io in here too. In here for each file name. Do also dim sr as new stream reader file name. Then note underline new dot textbox one dot text equals sr dot read and then just sr dot close. And we can try now. Open. Open them both. See, I open them both. Come on, pixels and pixels. See, twenty three. Yeah, I understand. I'm gonna press save and I'm gonna save it as you don't wish to comment. Yes, I want to replace it. And I uh, press that. Do you want to get? No. Do you want to get? Yeah. And here's the other one. This was to RPG Maker VX. If you want a tutorial on how to get that for free, just comment. I press clear. I can view. You see, I have it in here. I'm gonna make this more advanced. But, yeah, no, no. So, please comment and subscribe.